Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. So today we are talking about Rune Mysteries by Silver Ravenwolf and Nigel Jackson. And I should say that this is a book review? Like it's kind of. So it is the guidebook to a deck of runes that is no longer in print. I don't know when it went out of publication. It's older. I think it came out in like the 90s-ish. Um, so it's been a minute. I don't know when it came out of publication, but the copies that are available for this book, let alone like the complete set, I don't even think you can buy. Um, but to get a used copy is fun. So I initially, like some nights when I just can't sleep because I have anxiety, I will go through and I will just look through Amazon and be like, what are some witchy books to add to my book of to buy list? <laughs> because like all of this shelf right here, this one, they're ones that I've had on a list of like, okay, these are books I would like to get at some point. Um, and depending on finances, it'll be like, okay, these are ones that I'm kind of interested in. And then when it actually comes down to buying them, typically I will look into them a little bit more. But for the most part, I'll kind of just be like quick judge and be like, yeah, this is probably a book I might in be interested in. So I'll add it to the list. This book was one of those. So it was out of print, which is fine. I bought plenty of books that are out of print. So that wasn't a big to do. I have quite a few Scott Cunningham books that I bought in like 2015 that I got on this kick if I needed every edition of his book. <laughs> and so there's quite a few that I have duplicate copies because they changed the titles and brought those ones out of print and relabeled it, new illustrations, boom, new book, same content. Um, just like, oh, what was it? They're like the Dreaming the Divine had two variations, right? So anyways, I figured it was like that. Those books of like Scott Cunningham's that are out of print that I've bought, they weren't that expensive. I've gotten used and out of print old versions of books before. Usually they aren't too expensive. This one was like a little expensive. The listing I saw was like 48 and some cents. And then you had to pay shipping. And I was like, mm. So I just let it sit in my cart for a while. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know. So then eventually I was like, okay, let's just see. And so I bought it when we got our tax returns and it ended up coming to 53 and some odd cents. And then, you know, waited a week or two or three, whenever, I don't know. It took a minute to get here, but it finally got shipped, finally got it. And the condition had me concerned for like over $50. It was acceptable, which is a wide variety because some people's acceptable is like on the brink of destruction and others it's like, it has some issues, but like it's fine. Thankfully it was more of that category. Definitely probably my copy came from a smoker's house <laughs> because if you've ever been into somebody's house that smokes um, indoors, it has a particular smell. Like, it doesn't really bother me because I've had family members who smoked and so it was like a childhood smell of like you go into their house, even if they didn't smoke around you, like their house still smelled like nicotine. Um, and like my mother-in-law, she smoked all the time. So same thing, you'd always have that smell around you. So it's not like a smell I particularly hate, but it, it has that smell. And uh, like the cover's a little meh, but not bad. Um, so overall, I wasn't terribly upset with the acceptable quality, which is fine. But then, out of curiosity, I went to look back at the listing, and because it's, I don't know how Amazon has it listed, but like you can go to the same thing and it's like different, like different sellers. Um, and I think it just posts like the next available one after you purchase it. Oh my. <laughs> so when I bought it, again, with tax and shipping, it came to about 53 something. I can't remember the exact change. It was at like 400 something. And then I checked again a couple weeks later. It was at like 980, 990, like almost a thousand dollars for the book I just paid $53 for. It is not worth a thousand dollars. I can guarantee you there is no book that is worth a thousand dollars, out of print or otherwise. <laughs> like, don't waste your time, don't waste your money. Um, Fifty dollars, meh. Like, if it was closer to the twenty dollar mark, I feel like that would be a more acceptable amount to pay for it. 
but a thousand dollars for this book was asking a bit much um so i wanted to preface that because if you're like oh this book i want to go buy it and then you see it for like a thousand dollars keep in mind that there's probably better books that are a lot cheaper better information so overall am i mad that i bought this book no like there's a few things that i can get out of this book that i will probably end up using um and as I learn the runes a little bit more, maybe I will resonate more with the meanings of these runes. I didn't this time reading through it, it felt just kind of off. And I talk about that more in the Patreon exclusive, so if you want to see the extended discussion, it's always available anytime I post these videos over on my Patreon, it's always linked down below. But yeah, they just they didn't jive with the, like, the meanings, they were just like kind of there, but then not. So I don't know if it's just this round of reading it where I'm at with the runes right now, but I just didn't totally drive with it. Um, also, like, the rituals and spreads and stuff at the end were interesting, a little weird sometimes. Definitely had more of kind of a Wiccan-ish vibe. Um, so if you're more of a reconstructionist, like, this is probably not the book for you. But if you're just looking for like a very modern take on the runes, you'd probably like it. As far as guidebooks go, it does have a lot of resources that would be really nice if you are just barely getting into witchcraft and getting into the runes. Um, and it did include like how to find like the magical correspondences for like the hours and stuff, which has come up a few times now. So I feel like that's the universe just kind of nagging to write that down and figure out how to do that <laughs> to do with some spells and stuff. Um, but that was good. I'm glad they included that. And, you know, there's a few spells and stuff and different ways to connect with the cards, which could be applied to any deck, really. Um, I did find it a little weird that they kind of pinned these against each other for, like, runes versus tarot. And that, like, tarot cards, it's fine to have other people touch your cards, but the rune cards, you can't. Um, and you need to be very careful if you're using your rune cards to read for other people, but your tarot deck is fine because it's supposed to be for read reading other people. And like just some of like the weird things like that, it was like, and like, you know, you're not used to reading your tarot cards reversed, but your rune cards you do. And I'm like, I would have flopped that personally, but okay. <laughs> um, I'm not a big fan of reversed cards anyways. I feel like you just need to take the card or the rune or whatever as like its full story of however it's playing with the other things being pulled, um, whether it's reversed or not, but that's me. So overall, this book, I mean, there's stuff that I got from it, but is it worth $50? Meh. Is it worth nearly $1,000? No. If it's over $100, I would skip it personally. Um, and I did look online and there are, I think like two other videos out there, um, that actually show the cards themselves. So if you want to see the cards, those are available online. I didn't see the cards as an option. It was just the guidebook, which is what I wanted. Anyways, I wanted just another rune resource, but if you are looking for a book on learning the runes, I don't know if I would recommend this one. Um, if you could only buy one book on the runes by Taking Up the Runes by Diane Paxson, that's the one that I've been using to learn from them. And I feel like she covers the history, modern takes, multiple authors, viewpoints on them, and just really covers the runes a lot better. And even has rituals and stuff to do with the runes that this book doesn't really have. But if you're wanting to get various perspectives on the runes and see if maybe there's different meanings that you can incorporate into your own belief system for the runes and how you read them yeah this would be a great option to add in to get some different perspectives but again if you're only going to get one book i don't think this is it plus it's out of print anyway so i don't know how many people are going to be out there like i gotta get this book but anyways it's one that i bought and one that i was like we're gonna talk about it so here we are these are my thoughts on this book i would love to hear from you guys if you do have the cards if you bought them in the past if it's a book that you read <laughs> because again it's like it's weird to say that it's a book because it's technically a guide book but it also does have a lot of information it's a really confusing uh wordage there but anyways so that is going to be it for this thing <laughs> i would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below 
and if you have any other rune resources that work quite well for you, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below or any video response and link it or tag me or whatever the new way to do that is. I think you can tag people now. I feel so old. <laughs> like somewhere in the past like five years suddenly i became old because now i'm like all these youngsters they know how to like tag people because back in my day back in my old youtubes you could go down below the video and like video response like that was an option and it would just link them and now you have to like at the username or something i don't know if i get notified for those so just type a little comment because i do see those or you can send it to me on Facebook or my Instagram or whatever. Anyways, that's enough rambling for today. I will love to hear from you guys and I will see you all soon. We're still continuing with the runes, getting close to the end. At least I am. I don't know at what point we are in the <laughs> upload schedule. I've recorded those a while ago. Um, so at this point, I'm well past where um, the uploads are. So yeah i don't know where we are but we're still learning them because i think it goes for quite some time i think i'm at like week 14 week 15 maybe week 16 somewhere in that ballpark right now um for the actual uploads so anyways we'll be continuing that for a while on fridays and of course every wednesday i will have a new witchy book review so until next time thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe if you have the funds and you would like to support me in my endeavors i do have a patreon you get exclusive content over there so go and check that out and until next time thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all soon